Yes. Okay guys, this is um, a setup I've been using for the past two concerts I've been playing. Um, and I got the idea to um, send a signal, a sound signal, into a TV, into just a com composite channel. And then um, read the, the, the light from the screen with a solar cell, a photo cell, and just amplify that signal. So um, here I have the microwave sampler, which is my homemade sampler or just audio player. Um, and I can just show you what, uh, what sounds are coming out so you can compare the signal uh, when it's fed through the TV. I'll just turn it on here. This is one of the presets. Another one. So uh, now we'll send it into the TV, just without listening to it, just so you can see what it looks like on the screen. So I'm amplifying the signal f with a, just a small um, audio amplifier, because the signal going out from the sampler is not too, uh, too loud. It's always good to be able to, um, to amplify the signal before sending it into the composite video port. Okay, so I'll choose the first preset as before and turn on so it looks like this the second one and so on Okay, so now we'll try the solar cell. Yes, so I've, I've just taped it onto the television. And uh, then we'll take the photo cell. I've wired a, a, a mono jack onto it. We'll plug that into our amplifier. And uh, we'll turn on the sound. The first preset. Yeah, so the nice thing about this is that you can control the contrast and the brightness on the television. Uh, the brighter the light, the, the louder the, the sound. So you can adjust the contrast setting for making some sort of gating where only the loudest sounds are showing on, uh, showing up on the, the screen. Let's try and change the preset. This is the brightness.
So if I turn the brightness up, it gets louder. Okay, so I've also made this TV oscilloscope. Just hack the axis into an oscilloscope here. And I thought that it would be interesting to feed the sound into the oscilloscope. And uh, at first I my guess was that it was really going to alter the sound if I read it with the photo cell. But actually it resembles the original signal surprisingly. So let's try. Okay. So I've plugged the... This is a little uh, audio amplifier which is permanently, permanently installed on top of the oscilloscope. And if I turn the oscilloscope on or the, if I turn on the sampler, spot shows. So let's try and read that with the photo cell. Okay, let's try and turn that up. <laughs> 